I murmured Chocobo, and the time has finally come. This is a let's play six years in the making, even though I haven't been around six years. This intro should look familiar to some of you that have seen my stuff before. Don't worry if it doesn't make any sense. This game is known to do that. By Nigoro Corporation, formerly GR3. This was made last year, 2011, for the WiiWare, but it didn't accomplish much. It's an exploration, like a Metroidvania game. It focuses a lot on exploration, and finding power-ups, and finding secrets. And has the best storyline I've ever seen in a game. Kinda like Cave Story. They kind of just throw you into the situation. This is why this intro will not make sense to most of you. Welcome back to La Milana, the 2012 Remake Edition. Originally made for the Wii, but now created for the PC. I already have a load saved. It's, uh, I'm playing through this quite ahead of time. I have about four hours logged, and I'm qu qu quite through the game. There's lots of options now. Let's just start. Hey, kind of looks like an Indiana Jones movie, doesn't it? The best movie, yeah, best movie music available. This is Lameza. Check him out. He is a hero. Actually, he's an archaeologist with a fondness for treasure. He also descends from ninjas. Even though he, I never seen a ninja with a whip. All right, this is the village outside the ruins of La Moana. Lameza's father has found the ruins of La Moana, and he just left a letter saying, "I found it. I won." Lamiza hates to lose. He also loves money. Look at me, I already have 20 coins. I only started this like 30 seconds ago. All right, let's talk to the most important person besides us, Elder Zelpud. Hello Zelpud, I'm looking for La Milana. Oh no, our father is missing. Rumors about secret treasures. Maybe even the origin of life. That's what Lameza and his father have been working on. Wow, this guy won't be helpful. They don't even know all the secrets. I know some of them. Who knows what will happen to me? Here, take this weight. Yes, Lameza has a laptop with him called the Mobile Super X. It's used for exploration type stuff. Oh, this guy's gonna give us some handouts. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. The Zelpud Mailer. Zelpud's gonna be tweeting us through the game. And we can't do anything about it. Alrighty, we're all set now. Off we go. He opened up the ruins. And he's mailing us already. There. Hi, Zelpud. He has good typing for an old man. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we have 20 coins, so we should grab something right off the bat in this shop. The hand scanner. Lamiza is illiterate. He ain't able to read things. But with the hand scanner, he's handy capable. So let's equip that. Yes, check out the new item screen. This is great. It's so organized. And we got software too. I equipped the Zopud mailer. And he's mailing us already. Yep, all about the hand scanner. You can scan skeletons and mysterious objects. You can even scan the background. Well, not everything in the background. I can't scan that totem pole looking thing. I can scan this. 
Holy Grail tablet. I could save anytime I want. That's my personal save right there. They give you three pages of saves, because the adventure never ends. I'll save right here for the Let's Play. Alright. As you can see, I have about five hours logged. I know what I'm doing. Let's explore the surface a little bit more. As you can tell, I found pots that have coins in them. Pots contain other things. Zell pots, seriously. Yes, this tells you all about the weights and the shell horn. You'll be able to find that in Sound Canyon. Right now, we're at surface. We don't have a map. Unfortunately, not yet. That little green orb is experience points. If we fill up that experience bar up there in the top left, all the way to where our health ends, we'll get more health. We'll fill up our health bar, and Lameza will level up. There's no levels in this game. I'm sorry. I led you down the path of deception. Also, enemies will contain items, as you can see. Not too often, though. And these pots, unlike the original game, they will not respawn their coins. But there is a way to do that later on. Oh yes, it is glorious. That I just jumped in is a hot spring. It'll heal you up. About two points every... I don't know... quarter of a second. It takes a while, and you have a lot of health. Right now, Lemez only has 32. I think it maxes at 360. Anyway, let's check over to the right. We need to find the shell horn, or we won't be able to get anywhere. I break pots because I can, and sometimes they'll randomly drop small denominations of coins. I almost instinctively saved over my save game file. That's bad. I gotta stop doing that. Yeah, three experience points. As you can tell, it's a lot harder to get experience than it is in the original. Alright, I have weights, but I don't want to mess with that just yet. My secret senses are tingling. Oh, he fell and died, and he had the map. The map of the surface area. But we don't have a map reader. We're gonna have to buy that. Kill everything here, and put a weight on this die. And then whip the chest. Is a shell horn! It'll make a sound when we trigger a trap or solve a puzzle. You'll be able to hear that. Actually, it makes it a more distinct sound now than it does in the original. Any more coin pots? Cell pud! Don't jump in water. There's something wrong with the water here. We gotta take care of that. But there's coins here. Yes! More coinage for La Meza. Alright. I was about to show off something else that they've added to the game. But a snake stopped me from doing so. Oh well. Hey, who wants to get a secret immediately that, like, we're not supposed to get yet? Sure, I feel like I'm up to secrets. Oh, this'll be great. Let's jump down here. Thank you for the weights. Weights are rare. We're gonna be spending a lot of time buying weights. We could jump over to Statue of Elder Zelput here. There's something behind him. Death Village. Somebody's doing something upstairs is actually shaking my room. I'm a little bit concerned. Alright, let's equip Death Village. If I remember correctly, it makes a sound if you're in an area that has a hidden room. Yay! I'm going to die! Ah, gravity works. Here we are! That was the thing I wanted to show off earlier. This is an example of scanning the background. You can see things and they'll reference other archaeological finds in real life. Alright. I think it's enough time mucking about in La Moana. Ooh, that looks good. That looks like the title. Shut up, Zelpa. I want to scan this. It's a mural of the history of La Moana. Everything that happened, happened there. Okay, what does Zelpa want? What's up? We could push box. Don't hit your weapon. See, you can't do anything with the weapon. Don't hit it. Push it. Oh, hello. How are you doing today? Somebody wrote this in English. Why did I say English? Huh. I'm being ominous just then. Alright. 
the entrance to Lava Lana. Let's go! The adventure begins. Yeah! Rock out Lama Lana! Brand new Lama Lana music, I just love it. We can scan skeletons and they'll tell things at us, just like that guy before that had a map. I don't understand your crazy Lama Lana moon language! Yes, we're gonna need something for that. I'll be getting it fairly quickly. Ooh, this looks good. Hit the button, and we get our first life extension, a secret orb. 64 HP. Zelpa's gonna tell us about it. Don't eat the orb. Never eat the orb. If I'm going a bit too fast, just pause the video and read it on your own time. If I ever pause in my commentary for a while, it's because I'm enjoying the music. Or something really uh, expressive is going on. Something you must pay attention to. Like the intro, and that music. There's two kinds of music in La Milana. One will play when you first enter an area. Then it'll play another version, just for coming back to it several times in a row. Ooh, this looks good. But we can't read it. But we can save here. Good! Alright, let's keep exploring. Let's keep finding treasure. There's one thing I really want to get, hopefully before the end of this video. There's things to do yet. There's a sub-weapon to get. In this room. Hey, check out that eyeball guy. He is my bane. He's the Eye of Divine Retribution. If I whip that thing, he will strike me with lightning. I don't want to show you it, because it really, really hurts. Anyway. Let's go down here. Let's see if we can't open that thing without getting shocked by lightning. Come here, you. Yeah. Oh no. Only those of courage can obtain weapons. Also coins. Yeah, those spikes are fake. Who would've thunk? And now we cannot be shocked. And we get the shuriken. Awesome. First sub-weapon. Sub-weapons? Just like with the, the weights, it's hard to keep a good stock of ammo. Usually you'll have to buy more ammo if you want to be using sub-weapons. Me, I'm going to try and use the main weapon at all costs. Because they, are, they get very expensive. Unless you can find pots like that, or find a way to respawn that pot so we can get more. Did I read that? Oh wait, I can't read Lamalani's, of course. All right, let's keep going. Oh, well, I don't want to show it off. I only got one weight left. We'll get back to this. I'm trying to hold on to my weights. For stuff like maps? Nah. Also, if you jump into spikes, it hurts. You can walk right through them, too. It's excellent. Let's go down here. There's a handy ladder in place. Leading to the room of the silver monkey. No. This is not Legends of the Hidden Temple. Even though it looks like it. La Meza is part of the Green Adventurers group. Yeah, we did something good there. Like, bring out a lift. Oh, da da! Ow. Gravity works. Indeed it does. He has nothing for us. And bats are attracted to platforms. It's like they have batnip all over the platforms. Yeah, I make this game look easy. It's actually, the gameplay is a little bit more difficult. But the puzzles have gotten a little bit easier. Bosses and mini-bosses are now menacing as heck. Watch out for the bosses and the mini-bosses. Including these guys. I hate them. But I want to get somewhere. Quickly. Efficiently. I must have it. I must have whatever is in this room over here. Push this block onto that little 
gray colored platform, and we open a treasure chest. Also, let's open this. Why not? Arg! No, I want whatever's in there. It was in a treasure chest. It must be valuable. One moment, yeah. For some reason, my computer went to screensaver mode on me, because I'm using a controller instead of the keyboard. It's annoying. I gotta make a mental note to hit the down button more eventually. Alright! This is what we wanted. The Holy Grail. What it lets us do is if I hit the item button, I go back to the surface. Well, Elder Zelput recap for now. What do they call it these days? Warping? Is that what the kids are calling it now? Alright. I'm Armor Chocobo, and this has been the first video of La Milana the Remake 2012. Or La Milana 2012, which is what I'm going to call it now. Good night, folks.